Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to this 100% walkthrough of LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga. Today we are taking on Chapter 3 of Revenge of the Sith, which is called General Grievous. So let's do this, let's head inside and do it on story mode. Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Chapter 3, General Grievous. Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker have saved Chancellor Palpatine, but his captor, General Grievous, has escaped. The Jedi Council assigns Obi-Wan Kenobi the task of hunting down Grievous, who is hiding on the sinkhole world of Utapu. Utapau? I can't remember how you say that. I think it's Utapau, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's do this. Uh, okay. Here he is, Obi-Wan. And Commander Cody. Where's Grievous, though? There he is. Uh, so this is basically just a boss fight. Um, it's a really short level. It's almost like they wanted to do this boss fight, but didn't really know what to do with it. So they have put studs and mini kits into it, but actually... I don't know... I've always thought this is one of the worst levels in the game, personally. It just feels a bit... I guess half-assed to me. Like, they didn't really give it too much thought. I mean, it's still pretty fun. Uh, so, he's going to go over there, Grievous, and we're going to jump over here. Pick up this power-up and our first mini-kit of the level. Uh, I believe there are five that we can get at this stage. Um, and also, True Jedi is around 3,000, 3,300 studs, I think. Everywhere I've looked online says that it's 3,500, but I don't think that's right. I mean, I guess we'll see, hopefully, in a minute. There's not actually too many studs lying around, so hopefully we'll see. Um, right, let's get up here. We'll use the force on this build these little platforms. We're going to jump up here. No, we're going to jump up there. Thank you. Obi-Wan, come on. Oh my... What's he doing? <laughs> there we go. And we're going to get mini kit number two up there. Got there eventually. Right, let's head across here. We're going to bring this down. Step back a bit, clearly. Um, right, and we're going to change here to Commander Cody. And get up on here. Uh... Obi-Wan should be forcing this, I believe. Uh, Cody, can you get up here, please? Yeah, that's really weird, because I think Obi-Wan's meant to force that up. So let's just see if we can jump across to here. Yeah, we can. Weird. I don't think it's meant to do it that way, but never mind. Um, so we're going to head over here. And you can jump down here for yet another mini kit. Mini kit number three. And then what we're going to do next is try and destroy this. There we go. We're going to jump up in there for mini kit number four. And head back across. Now, I'm sure Commander Cody is meant to get on here. Oh, there we go. We'll shoot that out. We didn't need to force it after all. Uh, but we will in a second to get up here. We're actually not going to be able to get those studs, which is a shame. And we can't get that one for now. Um, so let's head back onto the main platform. And do a bit more damage to Grievous. If we can... Yeah, let's head across the bridge. We want to take it easy, because we don't want to lose those precious studs which we've built up. I mean, Grievous is actually pretty easy to, to fight on this. And he's going to jump up there now. So, again, we need to go back across with Obi-Wan and uh, Cody. Obi-Wan can, of course, just jump up here. And we're going to destroy this. Give us a few more studs. Yeah, true Jedi. I think it was 3,300. Okay, and that releases minikit number five, which I believe is the final minikit we can collect on this level for now because we can't get over there, unfortunately, where Grievous just was. 
So you can see there's quite a few over there, but we can't get over there yet. And um, we need an astromech droid to do that. So an R2-D2 or an R4, something like that. Uh, let's jump down here. And we'll go ahead and finish off General Grievous. Like so. Boom! I like the way his head just comes off as well. And there we go, level complete. Nice and short, that one. Free play unlocked. We unlocked Commander Cody as well. We've got True Jedi, which I believe was 3,300 studs. And we'll add that total on. Not many studs going onto that total for us to buy characters and things, which is a shame. And there's our five mini kits for the level. Gold brick for level complete. And a gold brick for True Jedi. So we're going to head back to the cantina. We'll check our uh, percentage complete statistic. And we'll see if there's any characters we can buy. Um, I don't think we'll be able to buy the one we missed out on the last level because we still haven't got enough studs for that. I think it was 100,000 studs off the top of my head. Uh, but we may have some characters we can get, I don't know. We can have a look. If not, we can just check our percentage, it's not a big deal. So, through we go. Let's check, shall we? Characters. Have we got anyone else? Uh, we have got General Grievous, but we can't afford him. He's 70,000. Uh, Count Dooku, of course, is 100,000, so we can't buy either of those, which is a shame, really. So we're going to have to save up our studs a little bit to buy some more characters. Um, I don't think there's any... There is a clone arc fighter, so let's get that. So we'll add that one to our list of characters. But yeah, Grievous and um, Dooku, we're going to have to save up a little bit for those. But that's not a problem. So, we are up to 22.8% complete. Nearly a quarter of the way through the game. And that is going to do it for this episode, guys. So as always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new, or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.